All right, we're back. This is take two. All right, we're going to uh, follow up. And as I was saying, if you're out of the United States, um, on the second part, uh, $50, and I'll send you the CD with uh, secure mailing. Don't forget to add 10 cents to each dollar so I can give it to um, our government. That's the way it is. I have no control over postal rates or fees. I have no control over taxes or anything like that. So if you're in the United States, $35 and send 10 cents for each uh, dollar and I'll uh, send it off to you with uh, secure mailing. If you want me to just send it regular mail, uh, I'd say $25, and, uh, but I can't guarantee it'll get to you because uh, it's out of my hands. Um, but given the time for gas and uh, uh, burning the CDs and all that, it's a very, very reasonable, uh, more than reasonable. Okay, enough talking. Now, uh, can you think of another song I'm going to to the piano um, it was cut off uh, I guess I used up all the 10 minutes in the last one but uh, I'm trying to reduce the talking but I have to cover things all right so mm, can you think of another song that um, will go with these spacings um, but before I do that I'm going to use the piano um, and you don't even have to uh, look where I'm playing or, or touching a, a, a keynote. Just listen. Uh, like I said earlier, your ear, you have to train your ear regardless. And so don't spoil yourself with just videos. Okay, listen to this pitch. I'm playing a C in the lower range. You hear that? Okay, now I'm going to play it in a higher range, in the middle range. Okay. Wow, that, that would be something like Johnny Mathis because he's a tenor. Now, if you go higher, pretty much uh, Phil Collins, okay, he's up there. And if you go higher than that, that would be Gladys Knight or uh, Tina Turner or Michael Jackson. And if you go higher than that, uh, or even, you know, up to soprano, Hear the difference? Like I said, you're dealing with pitch. Pitches and spaces. So you have to know how to control the air, um, compress the air, and that's another uh, uh, course that I would have to cover, and I can only do so much for right now. But anyway, you got uh, some lessons here, and uh, drill yourself. And when you sing, sing with smoothness and gracefulness uh, to be realistic. Otherwise, you're singing something else uh, or um, uh, rap music is so easy to do because uh, that's all they're doing is talking and uh, uh, they're not singing. Okay, but um, opera singers, uh, they have to mm, use a lot of wind. Okay, let's go to a song, another popular song. You know that movie, Ghost? Yeah, okay. Oh, my love, my dog. Oops, <coughs> Whoops, I got caught in my throat. Let's try it again. Oh, my love. My darling, I've hunger for your touch. And most certainly you want to um, uh, relax as much as possible your whole body, okay, and sing with your whole body, okay? So uh, what was that spacing that I did? Hmm? Well, that was uh, in the E space, of course, because it starts out in a lower uh, range. Okay, now 
I can bring my voice up higher again to um, the U space, right? As time goes by so slowly and time can do so much. Good. If you're singing better than me, and matter of fact, if you sing without music and sound good, you are making progress. And some people are just born singers. I was determined to learn how to sing, and I was very thankful to have Eleanor White at South Ken County College teach me. She was so dedicated, um, and she just was like good news every day. She was like a bright morning star or something. And she wasn't there for a paycheck. Okay, so now how can I use, <coughs> I went from the E space, for example, I did it before, and the OO. Now how can I do the AH space? Hmm? Mm, you guessed it. It's that tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one for me too. Let's try it, okay? As time goes by, so slowly and time can do so much are you still my need your love see, see how i laid laid back my voice i need your love it went kind of forward and then I laid it back. Hmm? I need your love. See how I laid it back? God speed your love. See how I, I dropped my voice? So play with these spaces and you'd be surprised. And uh, I gave you uh, some, some tips and I've been at it for over 20 years, so uh, hey, maybe I'm getting a little rusty, but uh, still I got something there to work with. And if you're young, uh, you got a lot of years, and uh, but there's going to be some wear and tear eventually. <laughs> uh, you know, every good thing comes to an end. Okay, let's try it again. Are you still money? did tell you what, how to, uh, you know, throw your voice uh, somewhat forward and lay it back. And um, concentrate, concentrate. Uh, again, practice. Test yourself out. And you're, you may never know. You're probably a born singer and you don't even know it. Do you know that there are no singers in my family? Now, I, I make a uh, like you, I do all my recordings in the shower and uh, sing in the shower, so it's nothing new, right? But hey, you might make some good money one day. You never know. So, uh, posture is another thing. And hooking, you have to know how to hook the words. And I, some of you have heard of that, and if you're a beginner, um, once again, it could be a new language, and of course it is, because I, when I talked to my uh, teacher and when I listened to her, um, I really didn't know what she was saying until I played back her recordings over and over. So, let me give you another song. Um, it's a classic, too. And you figure out where... Um, uh, my, the, the spaces are like you've learned already in these two lessons. Uh, take one and take two. And this is uh, still take two. Okay, see if you can uh, figure out yourself on your own and do a chart like this of uh, one, two, three, four, five lines and four spaces. One, two, three, four. Now, if you're counting from the top to the bottom, it's still five lines 
and four.